Hi, this is Rank, and I just got done with my program today here on Tuesday, what is it, July 26th? And part of what I talked about was a column I wrote earlier this morning that I was very surprised at what the DNC opened up their convention with, and that was a song that was the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Now, if you don't remember what the Battle Hymn of the Republic is, it is a deeply religious hymn, an old one, that starts off talking about the Lord and God and then starts, it uh, comes in with the chorus, glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, his truth is marching on. So, I found a couple ironies here. One, you have a candidate, a nominee, Hillary Clinton, who has something like 70% of people believe she's uh, not honest, not truthful. And you talk about, your first thing you start your, your convention off is his truth is marching on? Who? Well, if his truth is marching on, they better march right outside of that, that arena they're at in Philadelphia somewhere else. Because this candidate is not truthful at all. I know many of them aren't. I understand that. But this one has been proven to lie all the time. And the second irony I thought I saw was, here's a party for seven and a half years that have been intensely attacking established religion, especially Christians. Yet, you're going to turn around and start off your event with a deeply religious old hymn. I can't believe it. You sit there and say there should be a line between politics and religion, and at something that is probably the most political event out there, and that is a nominating party's convention, or a party's nominating convention, most political out there, left, right, whatever, and you start that off with a religious hem? I thought there's no, there has to be a line between religion and government and politics. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just, how much more are you going to take? And that's your moment with rank. Have a great day.